so here now. We still at the same location. Um, I don't really say where I am, but yeah, and I'm here with my sister and Bush Monster. Wait, where is she? Look them day. So we here in the bush, walking up a trail, looking for things and see what we find. Let's go. Benji was finally reached. Right, so let me get back to what I was saying. You remember when we leave camp and it was there? Yes. Well, this man here, Benji Boss, <laughs> and two other guys. Yeah, look what you find on the road coming up. You say they're coming up, but they take real long. And what again? You mean when we get abandoned by the taxi man? Yeah, they get abandoned by a taxi man coming up in the bush. Well, it was evening and it took around two hours to walk out. But now it's late in the night, very late. And so we had to walk in two hours to the camping site while looking for creatures and things. So it was very rushed and I didn't have a chance to film a lot. So yeah, this is the encounters of what we saw when we was coming going back to camp. I believe in our previous video I talked about this, but there's a rattle voice frog or emerald tree frog. Now all along the trail was these little frogs. I counted around 22 but there were more. Well I stopped counting at 22. But they are known as yellow frog or goth's tree frog. And during the day, they are brownish in color and sometimes have these thin white lines. But at night, they change a yellow color. They will sometimes congregate where when they're ready to breed, congregate near bodies of water with thick low vegetation. The males will make the calls to attract the females, and a female can lay up to 200 eggs in one night. And right above the yellow frog was these large ones. These are known as Trinidadian leaf nesting frogs or Trinidadian monkey frog. As the name suggests, they are called leaf nesting frog because they lay their eggs up in the trees over water, normal, hanging over water on leaves. They can lay up to 400 eggs in one night and males make a low call like a bump. It's hard to describe, you have to hear it. I wish I could have uh, filmed the sound but yeah. Males will congregate over bodies of water, challenging each other vocally or sometimes bumping into each other. This one is cool. This is known as polka dot tree frog, dotted tree frog, or lesser green tree frog. You can see this species of frog in some of them four different coloration. There's this coloration, orange, back with spots and an orange line and a green belly. Then there is orange with no spots and no lines. Then there's green with orange spots and orange line, and then there's green with whitish lines. Now, on the UV light, this frog will glow a purple bluish color. And I think, well, if I can recall, is the only frog that can do that. This is probably the 50 something wandering spider I've seen for the whole trip. And this is vlog 2 of that one trip. This part of the trip was very short and we only saw a lot of frogs. But the whole trip was grand and this is the last well second second the last night we would spend in this area but for these three days it is fun so far i mean you'll see the other things i mean what we have found so far was amazing we found like palestines and we found frogs and we found cascabel and things so far but it has been an amazing trip and benji boss joined us at the well not the end but the second the last day so this is the second night so far but there will be many more to come and this is deep for us so i mean there will be trips like this in the future more and more to see what else trinidad and tobago have to offer so as you know i'm the wildlife master and until next time peace out <laughs>